Welcome to the We On Podcast. Welcome. Today we're diving into something really uh, quite astonishing. We are. It's all about the hidden world of whale communication. And crucially, a surprising challenge that's affecting them. Exactly. We'll explore how these huge creatures connect, you know, through sound. And how human activity is, well, creating a big problem for their vocal world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So scientists have been studying baleen whales. Think, say, mink, humpbacks. Right, the really big filter feeders. Yeah, and they looked closely at the larynxes, the voice boxes of stranded whales. Okay, and used like modeling and scanning to understand how they actually make sound. Precisely. And they found something groundbreaking. These whales use what are called aerodynamic vibrations. Aerodynamic vibrations underwater. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Well, it's fascinating. It means they can produce sound without taking in water. It's a totally new adaptation. So they can basically sing while holding their breath. Nothing else does that. Not that we know of, no. It's a unique mechanism. It oh. allows them to vocalize for, well, quite a while underwater. Wow. And these complex songs, they're vital for them, I assume. Oh, absolutely. Crucial for social interaction, finding mates, communicating across huge distances. But here's the tough part, isn't it? The noise overlap. Yes. That's the really concerning finding. The frequency range they use. Up to 300 hertz. And the depth, often down to about 100 meters. It's right where the noise from shipping vessels is loudest. Exactly. The lead author, Cohen Elements, pointed out this um, sad reality. Their communication sweet spot is just full of our noise, especially from ships. And it's not like they can just you know, shout louder or change frequency easily. That's the critical issue. They can't naturally adapt by just singing louder or higher or deeper to avoid it. So they're essentially trapped by our noise. In a way, yes. It forces them into difficult choices. Like what? Either they have to stay silent when it's noisy, wait for the ship to pass. Or they have to physically move away to find a quieter spot. Right. And both of those responses have consequences. They must use up valuable energy doing that. Yeah. Exactly. Expending precious energy just trying to cope. It can weaken them, potentially impacting their survival long term. It's really sobering to think our everyday activities like shipping have such a direct impact. It is. This intricate vocal world, this natural symphony is being disrupted. A powerful reminder of our connection to the oceans. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.